Jonathan here. So uh, I wasn't going to make a video today. I'm feeling kind of under the weather. But I saw something and I need to gripe. I need to gripe a little bit. Or I need to gripe a lot. Uh, so I'm in Tennessee. And we're getting close to November when it's time to vote. And so, some registered voter, when it gets close to time to vote, I like to go online and pull up a copy of the sample ballot that I'm going to be looking at the day that I vote. And review the ballot and see who's running and do some research and see what the policies are of these people. So, you know, I can make an informed decision before I go and vote. So, I... I just got the ballot, uh, and I was reading it, and there are some uh, constitutional amendments being proposed, which is not uncommon, you know. So I was reading them, and, oh my God. All right, so one thing on the ballot is it says that should we keep or get rid of Article 9, Section 1? Article 9, Section 1, reads like this. Whereas ministers of the gospel are by their profession dedicated to God and the care of souls and ought not to be diverted from the great duties of their functions, therefore no minister of the gospel or priest of any denomination whatever shall be eligible to a seat in either house of the legislature. So basically what that means is, uh, when the Const Tennessee State Constitution was drawn up, this article said that if you were a preacher, a minister uh, of the gospel, which is in capital G, which, you know, kind of implies that we're basically talking about Christianity here because of the gospel. They're not talking about other religions. Of course they're not. But anyways, I digress. What we're going to be voting on is whether or not we should take that out and allow preachers of the gospel run for political office in Tennessee. Now, first of all, I think federally it would be unconstitutional anyways to say... I uh, yeah, I'm Baptist preacher, now I want to run for Senate. I mean, more than likely, there aren't going to be anybody opposed to that anyways. But So, yeah, this is in the Constitution of Tennessee, and they want to take it out. Whatever. I, you know, it's, it's, if you want to have more freedoms in this country, you know, I guess you should let uh, whoever, whatever, any religion run, and, and that would include, you know, if you're, uh, Islam, Hindu, whatever, you know, if you want to run, you should run, all right? Now, here's, here's where I'm irritated. Article 9, Section 2, which isn't being addressed, it's not being talked about, it's right under Section 1 that they want to get rid of. Let me read you Section 2. No person who denies the being of God or a future state of rewards and punishments shall hold any office in the civil department of this state. Basically, if you're an atheist, right? According to the Tennessee State Constitution, if you're an atheist, or agnostic, I guess. If you're like, ah, you know, I don't buy into that whole God, heaven and hell thing. Because the heaven and hell thing's included. A future state of rewards and punishment. If you're like, if you don't buy into all of that, then according to the Tennessee State Constitution, you cannot run for any office in Tennessee. Now that's bullshit. All right? If you're going to get rid of Section 1 and make it more open to people, if that's what you're trying to do, then you need to 
put up Section 2 for a vote and have it got rid of. But no, see, the reason that this red state, Tennessee, that they are they want to get rid of Section 1 and not Section 2 is because they want more of a theocracy in the state of Tennessee. They want more Jesus people to run for office and then push for laws that more reflect the Christian belief. Okay, because if they were if they were like, well, no, we're just trying to make these offices more open to the general public, then they would get rid of section two also, which is right below section one. And you know, whatever Republican person submitted this and they said, yeah, let's put it on the ballot. You know, they saw section two. And they just, oh, uh, uh. that's not what we're trying to do here. We're trying to make our state more Jesus-fied, more chick fil a more Hobby lobby We want the things in the Bible that we believe that we've cherry-picked out of the Bible and ignored the other stuff in the Bible. The things that we've cherry-picked and made our own little religion, we call it Christianity, but we, and we, we want those beliefs to be more reflected in our laws. We don't want non-believers to be able to run for office, which, even though it's in the Tennessee case, state constitution, it's probably unconstitutional anyways. But, you know, not that an atheist would have any chance in hell of winning an office here in Tennessee. It's just, you know... It's it's in the Constitution, man. The Tennessee State Constitution. It should be changed, but they're not addressing that one as equally as they are the other one, because the other one is like, oh, you know, we need to raise awareness and have more Jesus people, Jesus leaders feel motivated to run for Tennessee state office, and then try to uh, make more of a theocracy in this state. You know, we don't want our state to do what Georgia's doing. It's turning blue. We have to try to work the system and, and, and reinforce our redness in this state. So, you know, instead of like, well, we're trying to be more fair. No. They're trying to make it more their way or the highway, atheist. What a bunch of shit. Ah, whatever. I just wanted to get that out. Have a great day. What do you think?